I'm Pratik. So I did my engineering in electronics uh, from Bangalore Institute of Technology. So basically my native is from Shimoga. So after my engineering, uh, I got placed at Robert Bosch through college placements only. So in Robert Bosch, I was working uh, in display project. So yeah. What motivated you to pursue MBA system even after working at Bosch? And why did you join MRZ? From my engineering, I was interested to get into embedded systems. Of even I needed the experience, so I joined Robert Bosch. In there, I was working for a display as a tester. So there, my testing skills got uh, enhanced. And parallelly, uh, I need to upskill my things with respect to developing coding and all. So MRG. Firstly, when I was there in my college, I did uh, two months of internship from MRG. So there, I felt like all the teachings were like it was like. Uh, more relevant with respect to the subject. Later on, that I joined Robert Bosch, and there I felt like okay, I need to get trained. I, that particular knowledge of college, what thought that's not enough. So I thought of like uh, upskilling myself. So I just gone through all the each and every websites, and I found like MRC is the best. And then I just connected with some of my seniors and the present my batchmates who are. Presently, like pursuing their courses in MRG, and there, with respect to their reviews, I joined MRG's online course. What challenges did you face during your career transition? From Bosch, since I was a working professional, so from morning uh, eight o'clock to five o'clock is my Bosch timings. So my online courses were on uh, six to nine. My traveling was uh, one and a half hours, so I couldn't uh, attend the online classes on time. So, like, I just asked the mentors, my mentors, that I need permission with respect to watching the recording sessions. So that was the major uh, helpful thing. With respect to online courses, doing a course while working full time is not easy. What motivated you to keep pushing forward? There were many difficult times. Okay, see, so being a working professional from eight to five, and also from evening from six to nine, I need to concentrate the whole day. I need to spend on learning things. So it was very tough for me. But the one thing is like like when you focus on your goal, so like. That end all things you will just neglect it. You just need to focus on your goal. How did you overcome struggles, and what support helped you most? The main thing is so uh, I attended many interviews, and each and every interviews I got rejected. So somewhere around some thirteen to fourteen interviews I have given till now. So what one thing I learned is like from each and every interview I used to get some questions. Okay, these are the questions that might repeat in my next interview. So that questions I used to ask with my mentors from MRC. So they used to clear in in that particular time, or if not the next day. And and the one thing which I did is I used to note down those questions. So that that's where the main thing because like when an interview is being scheduled, they won't tell that uh, you will have the interview uh, within a week or next week. How did MRC's course structure and mentorship help you learn complex topics in embedded systems? the mainly the structure and the curriculum and the mentors so they are like they have the top class mentors and when it comes to like each and every student they will have doubts so doubts is common in students so it's like how the mentors will clear that but in mrc like when you ask a particular doubt within that particular frame time frame they will just tell the clarify all the question which embedded projects made the biggest difference in your learning journey at mrc So in MRG, I did a car black box project. So it was like uh, somewhere related to automobile based, and in my Bosch project also, it was also automobile based. So those two, I just combined those two projects, and I just created one more project, which is of my particular own idea. So that's where like you are understanding how you can uh, learn the things. That's uh, that was very helpful. So when it comes to consistency, so MRG they have got a LMS portal. So there we have like each and every questions which we need to uh, like type and we need to get the output. So that's where like see what people do is they just glance. Okay, I know this. So that is not. So writing a code is different and typing it and compiling it is different. So MRC has a very good portal. So where we can compile and get the things. So it's like when you come, it's like a game. Okay, so you you will get an interest. Okay, I need to compile it. How much did your projects and assignments prepare you for the interviews? What I felt is in most of the interviews they mainly focus on projects. So what you have done, what is the understanding of your project, how you are able to uh, like explain the things to the interviewer. So that's the main thing. MRC projects are very helpful. What I felt is during my Qualcomm interview, the car black box projects. Uh, it made a greater impact since, like, I, I have been hired as an embedded software engineer in display. So that 
car black box project also somewhere it is related to that so we have the cl cd interfaces and all so that's how it is related what was your mindset when you are going to attend the qualcom interview confident or nervous to be frank like i have attended some four to five interviews of qualcom itself i was confident because like i have given many interviews i visited chennai for walk in drives and also like some of the online qualcom interviews also i have attended so i was like familiar with okay this is the particular concept which i need to clear it and i was in clear and it's like okay i am i was confident and see every rejection taught me like many questions okay in every particular interview i i, I got rejected in a, every first round so in every interview i used to get some five to six questions which i didn't know i used to like go ask my mentors about that particular questions get it clarified uh, yeah this that's how all my interviews were what helped you the most to crack the interview from my college i was uh, not a very good in coding since i was from ec background so when i joined mfg so they taught me from the base so from the base okay so till uh, the top most uh, successful person like that what advice do you have for working professionals looking to switch careers but feeling unsure when it comes to working professionals i know like time management and focus and hard work are the three things which they have to focus so time management is like how you manage the time like half is hours as well as the online learning hours so one good thing about emergy is like uh, like if you are not able to attend the classes on time you can get the permission from your mentors and you can watch the recording sessions are there so you can watch those and you can complete it on not only about how you get trained it's like how you get exposed to the market Okay so you can use some like social medias like LinkedIn get connected with all the company people and get more connections so you can ask them for their opinion how you can prepare so so and so things you can do how was your overall journey at MRG with respect to experience like joining MRG was a great thing so and with respect to that there were many hard times which i had to face like all my friends like most of my friends are also into embedded so i was in a testing domain so even i also uh, wanted to get into a very good company like qualcom and all so yeah so like mainly the hard work consistency made me achieve